Programming questions are typically used to evaluate candidates on their problem solving skills. It gives the recruiting team a way to assess how well a candidate is able to solve a problem as well as the logic applied by the candidate. Our programming questions are designed in such a way that they are language agnostic, which means that you can assess these questions with any of the 40 plus languages that we support on our platform. Now let's take a look at a typically programming question. Here you can see that every question has a problem name and a problem statement defined. Next step is to define the solution and the test case. This is an important step because tech leaders or recruiters usually spend a lot of time manually evaluating a candidate's code. But HackerEd automates this process by using test cases. A sample input and a sample output is given to the candidate so that they can self-evaluate the code against the sample input and output. Once they get the sample output right, they can go ahead and submit the code that they have written. Once they have submitted the code, it is evaluated against all the test cases associated with the question. These test cases will cover all the scenarios associated with the particular question. For a programming question, we follow a partial method of scoring where the candidate gets one mark for each test case that gives the correct output. These test cases are completely customizable, meaning you can delete an existing test case and add a test case of your own. You can also change the scoring method of the test case. We do not usually show all the test cases to the candidate. This gives you the ability to choose only those test cases that you would like to make visible to candidate. One of the key differentiators with HackerEarth is the code checker setting. This ensures that the code submitted by the candidate is efficient or an optimized piece of code. You can also go ahead and limit the time, the memory and the size of the code. Therefore, if the candidate crosses this execution limit, they will automatically receive an error message and will have to redo their code. This ensures that the submitted code abides by your efficiency standard. You can also see that there is a sample explanation that gives the candidate an idea on how to approach a question. We also have an ideal solution in place, which is the correct logic on how a question can be solved. An ideal solution is helpful if a candidate wants to test their code with a custom input. Now let's move on the number of programming languages supported by HackerEd question library. HackerEd supports 41 languages and by default all of them are enabled. You can further customize it if needed. For example, if you have a requirement for a Java backend developer, you can go ahead and restrict this particular question to Java alone. Alternatively, if you're hiring from a campus, you can have multiple candidates from different branches coming to take this particular assessment. Here you might want to focus more on the candidate's problem solving skill. You can enable all the languages and give the candidate an option to code in the language of their choice. Another interesting feature that HackerEarth offers is the code snippets. Code snippets are the few basic lines of predefined code that are available to the candidate while coding. With this, candidates can concentrate solely on the logical part of the code during the assessment. Again, if you want to customize this code snippets, you can do just that.